And welcome back to some more Enshrouded. Right, okay, so I just finished making the build video for, well, melee insane damage. But my wife is currently uh, updating the game, so I have a little bit of time. And why not show the build that I am going to use mostly, because I do prefer having a little bit of a mixed build. But yeah, obviously we're just gonna go straight into Constitution. I do enjoy having cutting, so that is probably what we should focus on. I mean, piercing is good as well. Let's see, a little bit strength, switch blades action, a little bit more Constitution. We need evasion attack, battle heal. I do also enjoy having blink with the emergency blink because I do not like being stunned. And we're just gonna pick this entire tree because more blood rage and two-hand reaction that is good now we do also want rebound so let's get a little bit of rebound action in here let's see and let's do more jump attack ah do we actually need i'm not sure if i need that damage okay let's save that a little bit let's see i do want updraft and i also want a little bit of eagle eye action let's see how much we actually get so if i dexterity marksman eagle eye let's see 20 percent more damage percent head damage a little bit like a so okay i have five points that i could use into something now there's three over there four yeah okay jump attack strength okay one more where should we put it it could be more endurance and hmm yeah, I guess we're gonna put that into Endurance A. Eh? Nowhere really else to put it. Okay, so that's the main build. So that's 17 strength. I mean, I'm having, I do have the food buffs, but yeah, a ton of stamina. Do and I mean, my weapons of choice is the bronze sword and guillotine, and that is mostly cutting damage. So yeah, that's what we focus on. A little bit of arrow action too, because I do enjoy being able to zoom in a little. Okay, not bad. Now, I'm also currently processing a lot of linen, because we do need a ton of that. Uh, let's see. I do believe I need... Okay, let's split this stack into two and put that into this thing in order to make fabric. Uh, let's see. Like so. Okay, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Then we can at least start making some other things for the wife, maybe. Hmm. Now I wonder, I could probably just take... Another backpack, can't I? I mean, that's a little bit of cheating. Uh, actually, let's craft another large backpack. So that I can give that to my main character. Ah, and here we are. Okay, where's the wife? There's the wife. Righto. Okay, so a little bit of cheating just for, for the bag space, but yeah. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure if we got it on camera. No, probably not, but yeah, we unlocked the uh, Ancient Spire of Revelwood. It was fairly easy. Now, we have a lot of stuff that we could do. I do want to try out the Hollow Halls. Now, we don't have the best of weapons, but I think it's going to be fine. Maybe? Maybe just maybe. Like, I do have double jump and updraft, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, I need to spec more into... Hmm, I wonder if I should take this route instead. But I think that rather than making a shield for the wife, we can just go for the Queen's Tomb, maybe? Then, oh, there's also the Alchemist Mortar, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do. But maybe a little bit of prep, and then we can perhaps take on the first Hollow Halls. I mean, we're fairly low level, under geared, but I think that's going to be fine, just fine. And our uh, wife is just currently feeding the cat, so I guess we're just gonna start gathering some materials to upgrade her armor a little bit, get a shield, and then we will try on the hollow halls. Probably, maybe, we will see. Okay, so my wife is currently headed towards the salt mines. It's gonna test that out, but one thing that I want to see is that if I take care of this shroud root, well, I don't have an ax. Uh, I, I, well, I do need an ax. Let's see, what do I need? I need string and twigs should be able to get that. I mean, that's just flowers. Uh, let's see. String and twigs. Okay, just a minor setback. Need two more twigs. This looks like twigs. Okay, now I also have an X. Right. So what happens if I destroy the shroud root when she is... I mean, she's not far away. But does she get the skill points? I mean, I would presume she does. 
right? Well, let's give it a go. I know there's enemies. I mean, I can see a ghost right there. Can I kill it from here, maybe? If I can hit, that is. Oh, I hit the ghost. I hit the ghost again. The ghost is coming this way. <laughs> oh, yeah, they can fly. Yeah. Well, oh, there's the ghost down. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, not sure if I have stamina. I do. Where did the ghost go? And like a show. And this shouldn't be too much of an issue. At least I say that to myself. Oosh. And oosh. Okay, not bad. Now, what happens if I destroy this thing? Okay. Did my wife get a skill point? Or was that only for me? I'm actually not sure. Huh. Okay, so my wife did not get the skill point, eh? Hmm. That's a little bit concerning. I mean, she didn't unlock the thing. Loads of ifs and buts. Let's see, but let's head towards the wife. Is she... I mean, she's over here. Oh. Oh, hang on. Let's see, does she unlock the lore? I think that I'm too far away. Okay, my wife is making loads of noises. I mean, she's right down here, so she should be getting the lore. Okay, my wife needs assistance. Here we go. Alright, okay, so her shroud meter is going down kind of fast. Uh, let's see. Oh, my wife did an exploding. Yeah, oh, I, I, I wish that I were here to capture that. There were some exploding barrels. My wife found them very enticing. Yes. Well, at least now her shroud meter is filled, so maybe... <laughs> I mean, it, it worked out for the better. Okay, we're gonna need a buttload of salt in order to dry up the remaining of the leather. Okay, my wife needs assistance. Where did the wife go? There she is. I, I mean, my wife did not need assistance. I wonder, okay, I'm gonna test out this thing then. If I hit that, I uh, yeah, maybe her thing recharged? I'm, I'm not sure. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. I'm gonna suggest here. Uh, let's see, that's just level 5. I believe she has level 9 weapons. Yeah, my wife has not unlocked this thing. Huh, that's, that's weird. She wasn't that far away from me. Well, it, it, strange. I was cold for days. Now, hang on. I do know there's... Yeah, the bus in the walls. That is also something. Yeah, it's the critter's nest. So let in your chest over there. Now, that's very enticing. Let's... Oh, kill the bugs, maybe. At least the bugs die quick. Let's see. What is this, then? Here we have... Again, it's level 3 stuff. Where we are. But we're getting a lot of salt. I'm not sure how much we actually need, but I think this should do the trick, probably. Yeah, but I think it is about time that we head back, because the shroud meter is going down. Yeah, it is blinking. Okay, let's, let's follow the wife. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Stuff explodes around this way. Here we go, and up here we go. Hang on, there's another note. Okay, my wife read that, but I didn't get it. Okay, something weird is going on. Ah, oh, my wife is experiencing the lack of stamina. Yep, that is indeed a problem. Now it is very dark. Well, uh, let's see. Yeah, we should probably just head home with the spoils. Let's see, a little bit more dried stuff in here. I mean, might as well put in the rest of the salt in there. Ah, and then it is day. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, yeah. I mean, we might as well try to kill the second boss, which should be around this area. And then we can go for the Queen's Tomb. Yeah, I do believe those are fairly close to each other. Ah, yeah, I do enjoy that they increased the timing on this thing. So that you can just spam it about. Yes, that's a good update. Good, 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 good. That's not even close to everything. Uh, let's see, do I have a rake? Can I make a rake? Where's the rake? There it is. Let's just increase this a little bit. And stuff will just grow. Yes. Infinite fertile so soil. Probably make the better soil too. I do believe that stuff grows faster on this thing. Maybe. I guess we will find out. Alright, okay. Then continue to spam. Okay, that should be enough flags for uh, a little bit at least. We do need a hand spindle. And the hand spindle we get at the... What was that? Cave entrance? Was it up there? I think it might have been up there. A spider cave. -ish. Okay, so now we're going to attempt to take down the first... Not the first boss, what am I saying? The second boss. Uh, might as well take this flame shrine too. Let's see, where is that? 
over here. There we go. And a spark. Blum. Nice. Uh, let's see. Was it over there? Am I missing something? I do believe it's... Yeah, it should be there. It's just not loaded in yet. Okay, where's the wife? Wife should be... Oh, there she is. Right. Okay, so just straight over this way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, one thing that could come in handy. Let's see. A little bit of like a shoe. Stone action. Because it would be very handy to have one of these. Okay, I'm just gonna place this right about here. So that we have a respawn anchor. Right, let's give uh, this little bastard a go. Enemies? Where's all the enemies? Oh, there's some. Okay, not bad. Just gonna take it slow. Just observe. Oh, hang on. Here, here they come. Come out. Nice. Hang on, did I just level up? Yes, I did. Okay. What more? Wenderlust, maybe? I mean, I kind of want to go this route just to get some more damage. Uh, let's see, because none of this is dexterity. Okay, I have more stamina stuff. Now it is going to be very interesting to see how my wife is going to react to this boss. Yes, that's an exploding barrel. And right behind here, there should be another note. Now let's see. If I read this note, not sure if she got it. Okay, so my wife uh, did get that note. That's good. Okay, there's more notes over here. And also a repair bridge. Ooh, and a chest. Oh no, hang on. What do we have here then? Oh, more mysterious flasks. Interesting. Come on. And also a hidden pathway. You say what? Really? Okay, I haven't discovered this before. Huh? You always discover something. Oh, enemies. Okay, their attacks are very slow, so it's hard to parry. But the enemies going to be fine. Oh, 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 sure. Yeah, my wife is just exploring that way, so I want to explore this little thing. Is this something? Oh, it's just a hidden way inside. Yeah, I've not seen this before. That's fun. Yes, repair. That's, that's good. Good practice. <laughs> My wife is having some issues with looting. There we go. I, and, no, no, she managed to do it. Nice. Okay, let's fight the boss. This way. Okay, no, this is going to be interesting. Let's see, are there any enemies nearby? Because that could pose a problem. I don't see any enemies. Okay, let's observe. Oh, okay. Careful, wait. And then a little bit of stabby in the boat. Oh, hang on, that's not good. How the hell did I survive that? Am I surviving that? Okay, just standing in the butt, avoiding the puke. Stabby, 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 and... Oh, yeah, there's the boss down. Oh, my wife is poisoned. I think she's done for. Yes, yeah, yeah, they changed the poison damage. So it's no longer insta-kill, it's more of a tix. Uh, yeah, but she managed to defeat the boss. Not bad. Now you can loot your spoils. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a jump scare. A little bit more of a uh, hidden bombs. And a golden chest where she got a uh, bow. Sure. I know that you can get the ring of eternal life from these things, but we have the Gemini ring, so I mean, it's you don't really need it anymore, but uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so that's the second boss down. Now, we also have the Queen's Tomb. Hmm. But I am quite certain that we can just cheese that entire thing by just going in from above. I mean, we, we will see. See a bat up there, but... Uh, I don't see an easy way to get on the top of this thing. Because I know that you can just go from the top and then drop down right to the shield. But yeah, sure. Well, here we have a natural spawn point. Bed. Right. So this is the two. What? Bet. Push. Yes. Okay, Mistbury Catacombs. Yeah, I do believe that we need to do this the proper way. Now, there's also the lore on this thing that I didn't understand the first time. Okay, my wife is reading. Because this is apparently like a hint. Left, 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 and right, and up and down. Right, because this could be a little bit too treacherous. Here we go. Yeah, because we need to get through this thing. Which requires four buttons. This is wood, I wonder. I mean, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, just a wooden door. And then my wife got the shield and a legendary two-hander. Well, this is definitely not the way that you were supposed to do it. But, I mean, come on, it was a wooden door and we have access. Well, that's <laughs> that's the Mistbury Catacombs done. <laughs> uh, right. 
I mean, you could also go in from the top, easily as that, but um, I mean, it was a wooden door. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, but it is getting late, so we didn't get to the hollow holes today, but we did manage to do quite a bit. So I think that I'm going to say, as always, until next time.